Rachel Garso with the On Your Side forecast. It is 517. Well, we are getting ready to wrap up what, as we know, has been a very hot, very dry July, but all in all, not as hot as most Julys we see in Boise. So far this year, we've only seen one triple digit day. That was back on the 22nd when we hit that 102 in Boise. The last time we got out of a month of July with just one 100 plus degree day was all the way back in 2008, where we saw, again, a high of 102. So you have to go back 11 years to find of July where we only hit that 100 degree mark one time and just a fun fact for you in the last 20 years the most 100 plus degree temperatures we've seen in the city of trees was in 2003 we spent half the month in triple digit territory 15 days if you remember 2003 16 years ago it was a scorcher now we do have a triple digit reading in my extended forecast our weather trend shows our hottest day will be Sunday but that of course takes us into the month of August which we kick off tomorrow our normal high is about 93 degrees so we will spend most of the next week or so in above average territory including this final day of July 66 degrees right now in the city of trees very light winds out of the south at three miles per hour. Not much happening this morning, though. We are very clear. One little pocket of cloud cover right here. It's a little bit cloudy as well over in eastern Idaho. But you can see the moisture we were watching yesterday at this point is over and done with. So there is still plenty of monsoon moisture across Arizona sneaking up into Utah. But most of this will stay well to our south today. There's just a very slim chance that we could see some of it sneaking into uh, the gem state that could trigger a couple of late day storms in our higher elevations those convective thunderstorms caused by the available moisture and then the lifting that is caused by the heating of the surface. So we could see a couple more of those today. I don't expect much in the way of any storm activity. Still, though, fire concerns in western Montana. That has not changed since yesterday. Still air quality concerns around Medford, Oregon as well because of a wildfire burning out there. So as far as our temperatures go for this Wednesday, we may not get to the triple digits in Boise, but if you're in Vail, Weezer, Emmett, Ontario, you will likely touch or top 100 degrees. Ontario got there yesterday. We'll add a degree today with a high of 101, 98 in Boise, and 99 for Mountain Home. So the potential for the triple digits is definitely out there across the valley today. Tons of sunshine in the mountains outside of where those storms develop. If they do, again, it's much more likely we will not see storm activity, but it is possible. Kind of a copy and paste scenario from the last couple of days. We know what to expect by now, right? It will be hot even in our mountain valleys, though, around 90 degrees from McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade. Not quite as toasty in Stanley and Sun Valley, but not far from it. Mostly sunny skies, mid 80s for Stanley and Sun Valley, with a slim chance of a stray storm popping up this afternoon. In the Magic Valley, there may be a storm or two popping up there as well, but all in all, partly cloudy skies and very warm. 92 for Twin Falls and 95 in Burley Air and Shoshone today, I should say. So more of the same tomorrow. We kind of copy and paste heading into August. Slightly less hot Friday. That'll be one of our coolest days of the extended period, if you want to call 96 degrees cool. Sure. And then a sizzling hot weekend. Just kind of downright dismal. Yeah. When it gets up to 101, there's not much you can do besides be in a body of water, yeah. the air conditioning, yeah. and that's about it.